cold morning out there today. Definitely can feel that change in temperature from yesterday when it was actually kind of nice in the afternoon. Yeah, you know, we hit the low 50s yesterday, yeah. so pretty nice for late December. Today is going to be a little bit different, mainly because of that chilly wind moving in. Yeah, it was. It was a little biting when you went outside this morning. Definitely got to get that hat and gloves if you're heading out early today. Absolutely. Hat, gloves, warm coffee, the whole <laughs> uh, thing needed out there this morning. And let's show you what's happening out there with our three key things, because we were just talking about key thing number one, right? That cool breeze. You are aware of that if you've already been outside this morning. Now our second item on the three key things would be the daytime showers likely on Thursday. I stress daytime because of course Thursday, New Year's Eve. I think New Year's Eve night looks mostly dry at this point, but then we're looking at some rain to start 2021 for New Year's Day into the day after. So we'll discuss that in the seven day in just a few minutes. Temperatures right now running in the mid thirties in Smithfield, 36 in Providence, 38 in New Bedford, 38 in Newport and 34 in Westerly. So, you know, these temperatures don't really look so bad for a December morning, but you factor in the wind and it feels a bit colder. Breeze is starting to get going. They're going to take several hours to get at their peak today. They're out of the northwest at 10 miles an hour in Smithfield, 8 in Providence, 10 in Newport, 13 Block Island, and 3 from the northwest in Westerly. And a few gusts popping out there, not too many, 20 miles an hour in Smithfield, 21 Newport, 17 for Block Island. But I do expect these numbers to turn into the 30s and maybe a few uh, mid-30 gusts out there today. Our wind chill factor still present, 27 you feel like in Smithfield, 30 in Providence, 31 in Newport. These wind chills may actually drop a few degrees into the afternoon. All right, our Narragansett camera shows a dry start with those chilly breezes starting to move in. And the reason we have those chilly breezes, set of low pressure out here to our northeast, pulling in those winds from the west. And that will continue to be the trend today. So our temperatures rise a few degrees, but they don't really move very much from where they are right now. One o'clock in the afternoon, mid to upper 30s, which essentially is our current temperature map right now. And then this evening, we drop those temperatures into the upper 20s and low 30s. This is around 6 p.m. It's going to be a fairly cold night with a lot of teens, I think, outside of Providence. Providence getting down to around 18 or 19 degrees. Our wind chill forecast, as I mentioned, in the 20s for a good part of the day. This is around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and this is what you can essentially plan for. So even though the thermometer will read mid to upper 30s, you can plan on it feeling like the low to mid 20s this afternoon. Now tonight, we're back to looking at actual temperatures going back down into the low 20s at midnight. And I wouldn't be surprised if right in this time right here, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, if we dip down into the upper teens in Providence. But you get to Taunton, West Greenwich, again, you can see those temperatures going into the low to mid teens. Now I want to fast forward to Thursday for New Year's Eve day and we will have the chance of a few showers essentially staying on the milder side of the storm track. And then on Friday, this is what we've been talking about for a few days now, likely some rain showers. We'll have to watch the risk of maybe some freezing rain. We're going to have some cold air that may be trapped at the surface and as that moisture pushes in that could create a little bit of an icy situation early. But the highest risk of that happening, including some snow in northern New England, would be to our north and west. So it is possible we get away with just some plain old rain showers New Year's Day into Saturday. So that's what you see here in the seven day forecast. We'll keep you updated on that situation. And notice our temperature trend. It's sort of all over the place. We get to 36 today but a little milder as we go towards New Year's and then Saturday actually back into the 50s with the showers around in the morning. In between all this, we do have that cold morning on the way tomorrow. In fact, as we plan out your Wednesday, you will notice temperatures starting in the upper 20s to low 30s and then rising into the upper 30s to 40 by Wednesday afternoon. So we'll keep you posted on this quite active week going into the new year. You can always get more updates on our website at WPRI.com. Erica.